Art of Making Memories is an annual fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Association. It features artwork by individuals in the early and middle stages of Alzheimer's disease. And here to tell us more about this year's event is Honorary Chair Kim Klein. Kim, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. How is it you got involved with the Alzheimer's Association and specifically this event? Well, my husband Kevin and I have been involved for quite a number of years, and we moved to Cincinnati. We were very excited to see that they had such a great chapter here. The Greater Cincinnati Alzheimer's Association has done a lot of things for a lot of families and individuals. And this year they asked us to be um, honorary co-chairs, so we were delighted that um, we had that opportunity. That's great. And this is Kevin Klein is in <laughs> Kevin Klein. Um, let's talk about the, the event itself, because I, I think a lot of people may not really understand why this artwork and being able to express oneself is so important for someone who is, who is going through the challenge of the different stages of Alzheimer's disease. Well, I think they're finding art really stimulates the individual and brings up their creativity and brings back a lot of their memories they may have had in the past. And so we're um, using this spring benefit to kind of highlight those individuals. Yeah. And so we can all see the artwork as well as raise awareness and create funds for the Alzheimer's Association. In any more as our aging population continues to grow, it seems like Alzheimer's is, is something that touches everyone in one way or another. They've got a mom or a dad or a grandma or a grandpa or someone who's going through it. No, you're, you're absolutely right. I think everybody has a story. Somebody yeah. that's, they've been a caregiver, they've had a, a grandparent, they've had a, um, a friend or anybody who's been affected by it so um, and that's one th reason why we got involved is because we had a family member who was affected and passed away and and it's heartbreaking and so that way it's it's great to be able to really create awareness and, yeah. and hope that we can find a solution to this disease and it's really not just a celebration of those who those who have Alzheimer's and the way that they're expressing themselves but it's sort of a way to celebrate I would imagine the caregivers too because what families go through um, is it's such a tremendous challenge on the families not just the person going through it oh absolutely it affects everybody and no matter what stage you're in if, um, and that's why it's great that we have this, the Greater Cincinnati Association and you can um, call them for information and again it's free to anybody um, but their local number here is um, um, so it's area code 513-721-4284, and they'd be welcome to answering any questions. Awesome, and they so. do they do an amazing job, and yeah, I've been they very sure do. fortunate over the last uh, few years to be involved with this event. Yeah, you've done a great walk, job, and, and, and yes, thanks, thanks, and it yeah. reminds me we have a lot of great uh, live auction items and silent auction items, and there's tickets still available. Great. So it's this Thursday, right. um, and it starts, I think, at... 5:30, and there's also an online auction as well. Okay. So if you want to get, um, go to alz.org backslash Cincinnati. You can take a look at all those great silent auction items and get a head start. <laughs> awesome, and, and we'll get that link up on our website, local12.com, as well. It really is a wonderful event. Hope you can check it out. Thank you so much for oh, coming. Oh, thank in. you, really Bob. Appreciate it.